What's up guys, here's a quick one on how to shoot the Milky Way on your phone. Now I'm not guaranteeing you'll get an amazing result as it will depend on how you shoot it, when you shoot it and what kind of phone you have. Now before we get in, just be aware that this is a bit of an intermediate tutorial. First of all, you want to check for light pollution. There are plenty of websites for this, I'm using this one and you want to shoot your photo with this less to none light pollution. I'm shooting this outside of my house, not much light pollution besides the street lights, so we're good. Then you want to go to this website called stellarium.org. Here you can pinpoint your location and make sure the date and time is correct. It's best to shoot the Milky Way when it's new moon or when there's not moon at all, so we don't get any light pollution from the moon. As you can see here, it calculates and gives you the best time frame for when it's best to shoot the Milky Way in this dark spot right here, so it's around from 8 to 10 in my location. Most importantly, it shows you where the Milky Way can be found. For me, it's at southeast and going up. There are paid apps like PhotoPills that will show you exactly where it is and there are also free ones. In a nutshell, if you go outside, it should be pitch black, but you should be able to see the trail of the Milky Way. That brings me to my third note. If you can't see any stars, there's no point in shooting. The weather is a huge factor. The sky must be fully clear. If there's rain, fog or clouds, this will not be successful. Once that is all checked, let's shoot. Have a look at your phone camera app settings. If it lets you shoot manually and long exposures, great. If not, there are apps you can buy and there are some free apps. I'm using this app called Slow Camera from the App Store and it does a job for me. Make sure you're shooting manually. Play around with this but I'm using a shutter speed of 15 seconds. I'm going to leave my focus at default but this could be something you guys may have to change. I'm going to set a self time of 3 seconds just so I don't get any camera shake when I take the photo. That's basically it you guys. If you have a phone tripod, great. If not, find something to balance your phone. You cannot hold it because we are shooting long exposure. The photo will take 15 seconds to capture for me and this is the result I got. You might not get it perfect the first time, but astrophotography takes a lot of practice. But once you get the hang of it, shooting the Milky Way is actually quite simple. And that's it for the tutorial you guys, hopefully you found it useful. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.